Stop being so sensitive, bitch. You ain't no bad bitch for real. I seen you before you got your ass and titty done. Is Trina there? Trina! World, are y'all ready? You know what's up when this sound begin. We about to go in. Let's do it. Yeah. 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 yeah You ain't never seen no show like this Cracking jokes and singing we won't miss 5150 up in this bitch yeah. You ain't never seen a show like this Get old folks gonna be all in their bliss Trying to make you laugh until you kiss yeah. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah 5150 2022 It's on I'm about to say some real things Hit the mic and bring the pain Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah Somebody gang banging in the comments already What they at? <laughs> what they say? That's how you, where I'm from, that's how you spell California with a, with a K Oh, in that's fact, gang banging out here? Yeah, yeah that, when they change it to a K, that means they, they gang banging they tripping anyway. What up, 5150 in the house? About to get this shit up out of nigga mouth. <laughs> OG Darlene Ortiz finally made it. Oh, wow. What is this? The second time, maybe in 14, almost 14 years. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, touch. Okay, yeah, lady. touch. Oh, bless your heart. You Craig you? Smith in the house. <laughs> God. Miracles say Corey got the slave chain on. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, somebody say Corey invite Prince Sella on the show. I don't Fuck even that, have any mascara on tonight. All right, not bad. What up, man? Y'all good? Man, yeah. blessed. Hell yeah. Thanks, Detroit, you motherfuckers. Y'all won't be able to do that shit next year. First of all, Detroit came out. Detroit came out. My niece was there. Was she? Yep. Man. What happened? What she had to say? Tell the truth. Actually, she hasn't hit me back, but she sent me the, the thing when she was there in the seat. She was like, made it. We were oh, like, real? yeah, me and her mom were like, have fun, enjoy yourselves. Sarah Shabazz. Man, I told hey, that Sarah. motherfucker down. I ain't lying. Detroit? Thank you, Toya. Ask them motherfuckers. But this is what happens at shows. People have a camera phone up and they record shows and then you work hard as a comedian and your shit all over TikTok. Right. I was just going to say something like that about that in my um, L tabs. I mean, like, I'm saying it's like, it's really a terrible time as an entertainer where mm -hmm. some Asians get your shit for free because a nigga <laughs> got a phone and he want to yeah. get a pet on the back or a bitch got a phone and a bitch. Do y'all realize when y'all get that shit to TikTok, we got to go through all kind of shit to get it taken down? Ooh. Like, I'm saying, like, I'm saying, I mean, for the people who don't give a fuck, I mean, fuck you, motherfucker. But I'm saying for the people who might be doing it, not realizing it, don't give entertainers shit away to the internet for nothing. Right. That's sucker shit, man. That's sucker shit. But you won't be able to do it no more. Any promoter I work with at a big venue. What you gonna do, the, the Dave Chappelle's, the takeaways? Yeah, yeah Dave Chappelle, not? Kevin Hart, motherfucker, we gotta yeah. treat you like bitches. 
Because motherfuckers do bitch shit. <laughs> I can talk shit because I'm going to rip that motherfucker up. I'm going to make sure you got your money worth if you come see me. I remember one day in the comments, probably about three months ago, I saw some motherfucker say, he coming back to do the same thing he did before. No, motherfucker, you obviously don't come to my show. I wish I would come back to Detroit with the same <laughs> show I did last and year. Do the Sugar Daddy joke from Def Jam. <laughs> oh, that, that's old school. Yeah, that's the old school. No, bitch ass niggas. If a nigga say Corey came back and did the same show he did before, that mean that nigga ain't never came to my show. Mm. He ain't never came to my show. And when I work hard to be prepared, like I'm talking about cities like Chicago, cities like Detroit, yeah. where it's straight. Nigga clientele. Now they got love for motherfucking comedy. Them cities, they got love for comedy. But I'm saying, man, you can't you can't violate like that, man. Them motherfucker fuck a TikTok. Thank you, Theo. Fuck shit. all that shit where them motherfuckers hustle your shit. And before you know it, motherfucker done put up a whole set of yours. The, the Asians ain't regulating that shit like that. They like, let that nigga do it. Let that nigga do it. I was <laughs> just going to say something about that in my segment. I don't give a fuck who get mad at me. God damn it. They grabbing niggas' pages off the motherfucking internet, dog. Man. Because you speaking from the heart. I actually, now, people um, who are evil, I wish you take their page down. Cause I heard about some bitch got her page down. I couldn't do nothing but laugh. Cause I don't like, I don't like to knock. She put something down. up of yours. No, it's an evil bitch. She preach hate. She preach, um, on the um, she really hate black men, and she talk about dusty black men, mm. and on anything I love. This is what happened to most of them women. She got knocked up by a dusty black man. Oh man. Oh, she got what? knocked up by a buster. Yeah. She talked so much shit about yeah. busters. Get around a buster, a buster knocked her up. That's another thing we really got to start giving credit to is the magnetic power of black men. Even though we shit it on, when them hoes get up on us, they bust down. We can get into that. We can get into that. Because I done had a million bitches. I, I, I. Then when I'm up on them, they be like, don't do me wrong, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I always say if the shoe fits, you feel me? Like yeah. if the shoe fits, you you'll be bothered. Right. You feel me? Definitely. Like yeah. if it doesn't if it doesn't pertain to you then you I couldn't know, believe when they said they took the bitch page down. Not a bitch motherfucking out here begging. What's that shit? Were they big? Patreon? No. Whatever that shit like is. a uh, she's oh, got uh, a I forgot what yeah, they Yeah, what do. were those what things? They still do those. Oh, GoFund. Go go fund me. What? They still, what? The bitch got to go fund me. No, now. that's for just, that's bitch. for some serious stuff. You though, talked you know? all that shit, got knocked up by a dusty ass nigga that you, that, this is what, her whole thing is dedicated to talking about men who ain't on nothing in life. Right. And she got around one and got knocked up by one. Hmm. I was like, Wow. It, when I when I found that out, I was laughing. Wait, dude got a oh man, that's funny. Yeah. Now I found out they didn't grab the pay. Now what you gonna do? You got to be out there hustling that monkey, cause huh. the GoFundMe gonna play out. Hustle monkey. Hustle the monkey. A lot of these girls wind up hustling the monkey. They ain't got no choice. God damn it. Let me see. Did somebody say a name up there? Oh son? yeah, they've been. He My man said, "Go fund these." <laughs> <laughs> And he put up some nuts. Yeah, look, no, they've been Kendra saying No, Kendra G yeah, ain't yeah. the one I'm talking about. No, Kendra G no. getting money. Kendra G getting money. She got plugged with them people, and them people, then she went and married one of the brothers from the motherfucking homeland. She know what to do with that monkey. Oh, yeah, they saying it right uh -huh. there. Yeah, they saying uh -huh. it right there. Yeah, the old motherfucking old, old bro. Man, this bro talk about African-American men like they are nothing. Uh, man, I wish I knew what y'all was talking about. And then got up, got up on one. Um, hold on, let me see how I can say it. Um, she likes to sin, fee. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I see it. She yeah. likes to sin. Yeah, I see mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, man, I was laughing when I saw that. I didn't know. And she know I'm laughing feel? like, see, I don't kick you while you're down. <laughs> but in a way, I wish I could be like at her little internet funeral thing not not the real <laughs> funeral just by the end of her page so i could tell her you know you was really rough you was a true negative person toward african-american men 
Yeah. And most of the time, you get away with that. You know what I'm saying? So when they took, when they took it from you, I was like, wow, they did you like that? You know what I'm saying? What is that? Is that her? Yeah, she always hiding. She hide behind a disguise. She will not go. She go swimming and, and fuck the whole pool up with all that foundation on. <laughs> oh uh, my the Lord. pool look like a chai latte yeah. after that bitch get out there. <laughs> oh my chai Lord. <laughs> with oat milk. And, but I was uh, like, oh, they done took the whole page? Oh, that's cold. They got her. I mean, I'm saying they might take my page one day. What can you do? You yeah. I mean, don't have control of that. No. But I don't want to be a negative effect on society and talk about anybody like, oh, this one person ain't no good because in every group is people that's good. That's right. what I really believe. Yeah. Yeah, you just give your opinion on, you know, whoever, but Yeah, I give you I give my opinion on somebody in particular. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah. But she used to talk real crazy about me to the fifty one fifty army got at her. Oh, yeah, she was like, I don't want no more. I was like, Oh right, shoot, she had the extinguisher, huh? The smoke was getting <laughs> too <laughs> yeah. fifty one fifty army got oh, at her. Oh shoot. Macca, what up, baby? What's hey up, you Macca, look at Macca. <laughs> uh -huh, look at all fly. I see you coordinating. <laughs> Always. Shit. Got the shoes to bust the niggas ain't got, I see you. <laughs> He said last year, he, he ain't worried about no paper. We up here at the World Famous Coin Academy. Baller podcast, you dig what I'm saying? Another bit, bit baller people up in there, too. Anyway, somebody said Gorilla Glue Bang. Yeah, they know oh, what I'm talking about. is it? Yeah, she got them bangs, man. That shit look crazy, man. That look. She's the dog. And it was, it was other, like you said, Craig. It was a lot of women empowered her. Right, right. Just because she was going hard on us. She was going hard on us. But if all these women got your back, because see what they do, they set Should you up. Right. They'll put you on shows. What you need to go fund me for? Right, right, right. Your yeah, people was if they, you. Yeah. If they fucking with you, what you got to go fund me for? Mm. Yeah, go fund me is last you know what? resort. Dre Matik. What they say? She, he said broom, bristle, bang. Broom, bristle, bang. Yeah. Oh. That's what it is. Yeah, women don't support women. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. As you see with the... With They'll support the, uh, a feminine man before they support a woman. Ooh. Yeah. That, that, that got truth to it. Yeah, that man. got truth to it, man. So I'm, I'm, I'm saying what I'm saying, and I can't hide it. I'm not one, like I say, who hey, kick you while you're down. That's I'm not right, good Christy like o. that, but she I'm said, saying she was foul to the brothers. Man. Like, it was her mission. And then got knocked up by one as soon as he was around her. Oh, he was on the show? He he was no. just one of her guests, and she was getting to talk about me, actually. Oh, oh she happened. was fucking guests. Oh, oh my yeah, God. She was fucking <laughs> guests. Have you seen her? She ain't for the yeah, turn down yeah, shit. Man, she is regular looking to the motherfucker, man. Bless her heart. Maybe she was one of these people that, that thought that if they just go extreme, that they'll, you know... Yeah. Make something of themselves, like register to people. I mean, she yeah. had, she did have some sort of following, no? Yeah. I don't know. I, I hadn't. I the didn't first know. time I heard about her was when he, this one here brought her up. So, you know, some she was cat raggedy. Right you know yeah. what? <laughs> the savage cat raggedy. Yeah, you go <laughs> with that. I done been around some people. Sometimes people be having the wrong idea about how to do YouTube. They just think if they just go at people Get and say yeah. controversial shit that mm -hmm. they're gonna blow up. And you got to really have a point. If you're in a real opinion, you just can't be causing controversy. You got to be saying something, you mm -hmm. know? So That's you, right. That people yeah. want to hear, right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm saying, like, yeah, some people, you could tell, they are all about the train wreck. <sighs> right. They don't come with no quality. They don't get people, like, the lead attorney, me, lead attorney coming to visit them. And, right, right. and I'm saying, like, I, I, I want to tell you something else. This might be, this might be some fucked up shit <gasps> to say. But I believe in this. And I ain't gonna lie, you know who brought it to my attention is this brother. Hey Jeff Reynolds. Name um O'Shea Jackson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He brought it to my attention because I was always O'Shea, thinking it. Yeah. But then yeah. when somebody else said it, sometimes in life <laughs> somebody can yeah. say something to make you go, you absolutely right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you something about YouTube people. All People in a car 
doing their show ain't on shit. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I always thought that then when I saw the brother O'Shea say it, I was like, God, hey, man, anybody sitting in a car doing their show ain't on shit. Wait. Uh, uh, Presentation means podcast? something, man. What do you mean? Uh, like people who sit in their car and, and do a show. In I done seen crazy bitches yeah. talk for three hours in a car. Yeah. <laughs> let me tell you something. Yeah. If God yeah. brought it, <laughs> let me tell you something. We, I, we, I can't go in the house because he's going to whoop my ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. All the kids <laughs> are out of control. Right? Shut the fuck up. You ain't uh, talking about nothing. Woo. You ain't talking about nothing. Any bitch sitting in a car doing a show. <laughs> Especially if she in the back seat. That's oh, a, oh, you stop. That's a crazy <laughs> bitch who can't believe she getting attention. That's funny. I'm a man. life coach. Bitch, shut the fuck up. And change your oil. I'm saying, dog. <laughs> man, how the fuck you motherfucker really expect oh. people to subscribe to what oh, you're doing? God. And your presentation is nothing. Put your seatbelt on. Nothing. <laughs> That's funny. I can't. They showing you all the, all, that's just like a bitch smoking a cigarette with dirty feet talking about, I'm looking for somebody to really love me. you like, bitch, what is you talking about? You don't love you. That's funny, yeah, man. You don't love you. I'm saying like, look, man, this world is full of people who are not going to like Corey Holcomb because Corey Holcomb will say some things. Now, I'm not trying to be a shock jock. But in this world of raggedy shit, we have to laugh and joke about certain shit. Hell yeah. You know, sometimes when you say the first thing to come to mind, some, you, you ain't really thinking. Do you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to go on the other side of the room and open up the curtain and look at the back corner of the wall and find, find something over there to talk about. Right. You know, you know so, how about if you just don't, if you take life just serious all the time yeah like, i know motherfucker gonna get mad at me i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck fuck it i'm just getting even more fired up i know a female comedian who talked about women in the airport wearing bonnets this was her thing she went in on them girls at the airport with bonnets babies don't do that who's it listen listen they asked this same female comedian something about Jada Pickett Smith. You know what she said? That's none of my business. <laughs> I was like, that's none of your business. Sister, you dog the ladies in the airport with the bonnets, but when somebody who can roll their eyes at you in the industry has power, they can't do no wrong. It's none of your business. It's none of your business, the girls with the bonnets at the airports. Right. Mm. And I'm just saying, I'm making sure I don't mm. even curse because I want all the people to try to drive this point, to be able to drive this point without all they editing they do to my show. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, I watch this hypocrisy and I try not to be the bad guy. Yeah. Because I don't want everybody to be like, I done ran into famous people, Corey, oh, you be dogging them. I'm not dogging them. I'm just calling it for what it is. You can't talk about people with bonnets on in the airport who ain't did nothing to you. Then here go this funky bitch trying to destroy her husband. Oh, that's none of my business. It go back to what you said, Craig. Yeah, yeah, They'll yeah. let a brawl get away with everything. Oh, yeah. But they'll talk about the... The, the people who ain't popping like that. The girls at the airport trying to get the bag. Yeah. I forgot all about that. You I right. don't. I'll be like, bitch, oh, stop. Stop. <laughs> and even worse, though, I hate to say it. Wasn't she, didn't they call her out because she was caught herself wearing one out? Yeah. In public? Okay, I'm saying, well. like, we could joke about stuff. We could do whatever. Have you seen her back arms? Her back arm? Yeah, her back arm is floating in the bathtub. She got like some big old. <laughs> <laughs> I saw them back arms. Oh lord! <laughs> you got to get your um, you got to get your arm straight leg when you lose weight <laughs> after a certain point. Oh yeah, her get your arm straight leg. But that's just the. 
I and I do not dislike her. No, nah, she cool. Because I believe she got potential to be something if she was around a nigga like me. Not I, saying I want her, right. but I'm saying I'm I'm good at showing women like that. You're actually insane, and you need to get behind a real one and sh just shut the fuck up and go off his lead. Yeah. I have actually saved women where they not all the way right, but they know the information I gave them can help them. Yeah. You're going to crash and burn if you ain't being led by no real one. You can't lead yourself. Yeah. You're insane. How come we can't have opinions as black men? Nobody uh, nowadays can have But specifically <laughs> us, if we say anything that's off kilter, off beat, and I won't even say real, but anything that it could change things, we become a target every time. And, uh, you know, that's... That's for, what's up. What yeah. you're saying is true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you're saying is true, man. But see... I am the anomaly that is going to find a way through that goat path in the back, like yeah. on 300, yeah. to the fame and fortune that comes with being a real one. Yeah. I don't want the fame and fortune the other way. I don't want it. It don't matter. If I can't look in the mirror and feel good about who I am, then I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm calling out these people that has been in my presence and act like they good people. But <laughs> we know what's happening. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna get real heat for this next one. Uh oh. I'm gonna get real heat for this next Sorry, one. Sorry, I'm listening. I'm sending my Niall pictures. Sorry, go ahead. I'm listening. I have been a guest on The Breakfast Club. A couple of times, yeah. I remember when I was on The Breakfast Club, the one brother who jammed up right now. Oof, right. yeah. Mm hmm was acting like I was foul with my opinion. My opinion. I didn't know that. Like, I, I think I offended him mm. wow. with my opinion. My brother Envy. I don't dislike Envy. The name is crazy. Right. But I would be a cake-ass motherfucker if I didn't talk about the shit that's happening. Because yeah. one day I left that breakfast club, I was like, dude had an issue with me right. because of what I feel about my opinion toward women. Right. But one thing about Corey Hoker, man, I'm not knocking the people upside the head robbing them. Did he try to get you to invest? Oh, 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 maybe he was upset you didn't buy a, a <laughs> ticket to the... <laughs> Damn. Uh, all I'm saying, my brother, Oof. you have taken up for a woman just like Will Smith yeah. that wasn't speaking highly of you. But he'd be, ready to, he'd be ready to damn near fight when somebody say something about that. Don't you know that who, because this is what the next topic is going to be about, who around you, the people around you is a representation of who you are. <laughs> if you are around Fuck nigga, fuck bitches. I know you a fuck motherfucker. Cause if you really trying to live righteously, you at our age, mm -hmm. everybody up here, you done weeded out most of the garbage motherfucker. Right, right. I can see when you young, you got fuck motherfuckers around you and you trying to figure out how to do it. Once you get a certain age, you just be like, look, I don't want you around me. Oh, that was a good one. Whenever you tell people, I don't want you around me, you are in danger because the envious people take that very personally. Mm. When you had the courage to tell them, I don't want you around me because they're going to they gonna be like, well, why, 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 why? Now, you already know whatever you say is going to be some nonsense to right. them, uh -huh. but I like to tell them why at my age now. Mm -hmm. I don't want you around me because I feel like you a snake in the grass mm -hmm. and I don't want to wait to get bit. Mm -hmm. I don't want you around me because after I had sex with you, I ain't want to see you no more. Huh. Oh, Lord. I don't want you around me because your child is trying to get close to me, and I don't want that around me right now. <laughs> Tell people the truth. They get mad at you, man. Tell people the truth. They get mad at you. What am I going to do? Corey, <laughs> Detroit loves you. The Breakfast Club hosts are getting their karma. Both of them. Ooh, wait, Listen, what? I love Charlemagne the God, mm -hmm. man. 
I love Charlemagne the God. Listen to me. Charlemagne the God has gone out his way to help me when I go to New York, especially when they he was popping out. up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take care of me. Yeah. At least look out for me. But I be so worried about Charlemagne the God because I feel like Charlemagne the God has power to decide who's around him on air. You see what old girl Angela Yee did when she left. She act like they did something to her. Right. She act like they was foul to her. Yep. So I'm like, okay, they'll get through that. Now I see less hilarious up there. I'm like, nigga, you jumping in the heat. Out the frying pan to the boiling pot. I say this because I worry about who around that nigga. Yeah. You can't hide no rotten bitch around that nigga. Do you know her history? This bitch bust down on the internet with a child. But they was talking shit about Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Haddish ain't get on the internet with no child and bust down. This bitch bust down with a baby on the internet. Can't have no bitch like that around you. Mm -mm. You lost your motherfucking mind. That's a real spill. If I'm lying, I'm dying. <laughs> the baby was her baby, too. Destructive bitch. Get the fuck away from me, Charlie Magna God. I ain't saying this for me. I, you know I love coming on your show and chopping it up with you and everything. But look. You don't need to have no motherfucker be like that right because the bitch gonna get you. <laughs> bitch gonna get you, nigga. What'd you say, D? No, I'm just playing like you, oh, like you spit. You, you flung spit some pop. spit over yeah. here. Right. And yeah. we got a lot to worry about. The, oh, yeah, the that's feds pretty good. Let me tell you. The, fe the, what? the feds is on him. It ain't the oh, local on DJ Envy. Oh, yeah, I heard yeah, about this, the, the It's the FBI. I, yeah. I just was like so shocked that you got. This much dirt on you, and you act like you a stand up guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They what? They got a Rico law. On, yeah. on that whole thing, right? That Rico law, a cold law. What? See, that's what I was going to ask you, Craig, Craig, because you're so good at this shit. Yeah. And Darlene, your opinion is so needed. Listen, who you got around you? Who you in business with? This is what I'm trying to say to you. Mm. Now, they tricking on each other. You get what I'm saying? Of course, when shit gets shit gets heat hot. You talking about envy and who? An old boy. The That's dude true. who went in with him. They, they tricking on each other. They telling. They right. telling everything okay. on the internet and everything. Right, right, right. I am using this as a case study for those who will listen. Everything you do with somebody else, you might as well say it on a police horn. That's real shit. 100%. Ain't that many reals out here, man, who gonna motherfucking go down with it, with standing the on theirs. Right, right, right. Them people are scarce. Right. When the shit hit the fan, whoever you did it with, they putting it out there. Man, some people only talk to you so they can get information from you that they can use against you later on down the line. Like there's some people Preach, brother. who's every step. There's some people who only appear in front of you if they have a plan to deceive you at some point. God damn it. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm, That's what oh, I learned. Yeah. So like, you know, me. I I'm, call out names. Yeah, man. I was, when they in my face, I be like. Yeah, yeah. When, they see I'm like, I'm starting to be like, I, keep, I be quiet. I try to let them have they spill. Yeah. And then I get the fuck away from them. Yeah. But what I don't understand about those types of folks, because I've dealt with them before, is once you sniff it out, why does it now have to be a problem if I choose to separate myself exactly. and not allow myself to be a victim? You could run your plays where you run them. We could be cool, but yeah, why do you do think that else. I got, why do I got to turn into a bad person or a disrespectful nigga and be all this bullshit because I sniffed it out? Craig. Almost everybody you let get up under you is envying you. Right. You don't have that many people that is actually rooting on you. Uh -huh. They around you trying to see what they can get from you. Yeah. And after they realize that's uh -huh. burn up, do you know you in danger? For sure. That lady, Selena, yeah. the singer, Oh, yeah. She didn't know that lady was going to kill her that day. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. 
And that, that the worst thing about that one was that lady wasn't even around her a lot. She just gave her access to a lot, but she wasn't personally around her all. If she you let them stick around too much, that devaluation part gonna kick in. Yeah. And one day they're gonna turn on you, and it's and it, like you said, it's gonna be scary. It's gonna start with something like you don't nothing you ain't nothing you doing right no more. Yeah. This shit been right for nine years, and all of a sudden. This Chick Fil A bullshit, Corey. Why you give me this Chick Fil A, nigga? <laughs> you know I know. <laughs> Man. You know I know. Hey. I didn't have motherfuckers. I could do no wrong until I start checking mm. them on certain shit. Mm. Then I'm the dumbest motherfucker in the world. Yeah. yeah, man. You know what? That's when you when you. I feel like a lot of motherfuckers per, their perception of value is twisted. If you value yourself then you'll deal with outside things better. Mm. But if you value, a lot of people who don't have value in self and a lot of people who have voids that they use other people to fill, they get mad when you don't allow them to use you to fill that void. Mm. They really only around to be a succubus. They really just vampires. What is a succubus? A succubus is something that feeds off you. It's a parasite that feeds off you, and it really doesn't have any substance. It really doesn't have the ability to hunt and provide for, for itself. Themselves, so right, it has to look. attach to somebody. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when you it's pull like that shit off of shit. you, in the human form, one of the things that they do, shit is not good enough no more, then they turn on you. Then they start triangulating your circle of motherfuckers around you, creating doubt, creating uh, creating uh, uh, doubt through misinformation. Mm -hmm. And then if that don't work, then they, you know what I'm saying, then they get to more, they get to crazier shit. They start losing their cool. They start trying to start beefs with you. And then that's when you get to that Selena level. That's why yeah. when you deal with motherfuckers like that, my sister, who's a psychiatric nurse at Chino Prison, shout out to the big sis, I love you. She says you got a gray rock on. There you go. Exactly. Which means, Corey, no emotion, no nothing. Don't give them no eyes. No just, I, And that's the hardest mm -hmm. thing. Like I was about to say earlier, I just learned watching how you operate and my big cousin, like if a woman cuts me off and don't let me finish something, I just be quiet and leave. Why argue with somebody that don't have the acumen to realize, bitch, I could kill you if I wanted to. Bitch, I could, no, no I'm not saying I would, but I'm a stronger being than you. Why would you put yourself self in harm's way? So if somebody doesn't even understand when they're putting themselves in harm's way, whether it could be physically or financially or putting a relationship in danger because of how, you, how they feel at the moment, you got to separate yourself from them type of people completely and don't give them no emotionality. Mm. I put up with that shit for a long time. Yeah. Mm. I learned trial and error. Yeah. A bitch that don't respect you is going to show you she don't respect you. Mm. Over and over again. And anybody, oh. and you better get away from them. But you, this is what I'm saying, D. You know what men think? They mm. think that they can win the respect of a bitch. And they no. think they can change. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. They can sway them I to get come there. I am smart enough by getting my ass kicked to know if a mm -hmm. bitch ain't on shit with me, I use her for my ain't shit shit, but you can't get close to me like that. Nope. And mm. when I feel like I have to tell him that, I take pride in telling the bitch, I don't trust you worth a dime. I'm a savage, so I still put my dick in you. I deserve the bad luck for being around you, you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm smart enough at this stage to know nobody could ever build with you. Mm -hmm. I want to see a motherfucker build with you. I know one bitch who went out and got a husband. One bitch who went out and got a husband. And this a funky, nothing-ass bitch. That nigga died. <laughs> I believe in the motherfucking universe and its laws and what it put out there and all that shit. So... I'm saying, as men, you need to have the courage to really understand this is nothing that's going nowhere because she doesn't respect me or anything. You get what I'm saying? So, if you really believe that, you ain't got to worry about what she doing. You ain't got to worry about what you lost. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Exactly. Just get on. Because something better for you, man. Yeah. Unless you a sucker, you jump back in the same boat. I guarantee you, I will never be around a woman who is disrespectful. Real shit, yeah. I'm I trying to get there. I will never live that kind of life again. 
I done been through it. I hope all you dudes out there, I know you don't. You don't, You have to go through it to understand what I'm saying. But a woman who is foul, I promise you, she is going to tell you she foul because of you. That's some real <laughs> shit. That's, that's going to be a whole thing. And you d- made me like You did yeah. Dude, you wasting your time if you know she foul. God is going to pop your ass upside the head for being around her. And it just doesn't go for the male and female type of relationship. It goes for friendships as well. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Like guy on guy, girl on girl, friendships or whatever. Yeah, people are foul. They just foul. Be well, thank you. I just let them go. I'm just Some bye-bye. Some of whole purpose is to confuse you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When they see your life in order, some people come into your life and they have this turmoil on the inside and they need the world to reflect what they feel on the inside. So they find motherfuckers who doing decent. They find people who got something going on and they lay in the cut and they figure out how they can destroy it. And then two ladies, I would say this, you shouldn't argue with a man because at some point his imagination breaks gonna stop working. You know, men, we got breaks on our imagination where if you were saying a logical man, you could pump the brakes on doing some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. a lot, and a lot of times when we argue with women and we get quiet, women don't understand that the nigga sees the ass whooping in his head. Mm-hmm. It's in his imagination. <laughs> he just, <laughs> but he got imagination breaks. Bitch, you be talking a mile a minute. And you don't know, bitch, you didn't been thrown off two cliffs in this argument in my head. <laughs> but bitch, if one day them breaks may stop working. Mm. That's deep. You know and, what I'm saying? And you know, and that's that's God. Whatever God you serve is what's stopping me from whooping you, if I'm, cause most men, we can't talk above a certain octave for too long. But m- most men don't want to converse either for too right. long. So if you don't get that, yeah. you wasting your breath just trying to talk I and think men will converse with somebody that they feel is respectable and fair. It's easier to talk to somebody who's respectable and fair, but I just don't know a lot of bitches wow. who are respectable or fair. They fuck the lawyer in their case against their baby daddy. <laughs> I would oh, never man. hire a lawyer. I will always represent myself. <laughs> they, Especially if the nigga silly. six four two, whatever that nigga was. And they will even though they <laughs> listen, so you'll be with bro up. for ten years, twenty years. That bitch will be right where she was when you first started, yeah. mentally, financially, yeah. everything. Yeah. And that bitch will still tell you what you need to be Not doing. Not teddy wise, her titty's gonna be sagging. Yeah, her yeah. titty's going to be sagging yeah. by the end and, uh-huh. and, 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 and soot coming out the breast uh-huh. if they ever could get something to come out of there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Soot. Hell yeah. I had a bitch, I saw soot come out of her titty. <laughs> oh, Lord. 1040 viscosity soot. Bitch, this is diesel truck uh, oil chain soot. The shit was matte gray coming out of her titty. <laughs> what the fuck is that coming out of her titty? And I still didn't leave yet. God showed me this bitch is full of soot. <laughs> and I still stayed around her. Ghostbusters line coming up. Right, out nigga, I swear to God. But it's a lesson so many men have to be taught. You not in control. You yeah. think, I'm going to treat the bitch good. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. That bitch is going to be standing on the plaintiff side of the courtroom <laughs> with people who have been trained to destroy you. Pointing at you like you ain't shit. But let me ask you something, Corey. My favorite comedian, Corey Holcomb. Appreciate all that you, you do. Hope something I, so hope sometime I future, wait a minute, sometime. Oh, he spelled it like this. You got to read Sometime it. in the future, future you yeah. come to Toronto, Canada for a show. Salute. Um, who is that? To. Who is that? Oh, they he's, was he typing. Oh, spell. Abby Jackson. That's Thanks okay. Thanks for the little ass twenty in that bad message. Go ahead, Chris. So how you <laughs> teach a young nigga to lay on a bitch? Once she realizes she ain't shit, say he, he between the age of 19, 20 and thirty, his shit ain't together. He fucking with a broad. He realized, okay, she ain't shit. How do he lay on her and still put himself in position to run whatever plays he needs to run to get to the next step? Cause some niggas can't leave immediately. They ain't got no car. They ain't got no. They ain't got no job. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes but, that's how they learn. Let but, them go through the shit. But they watch 5150 and you enlighten oh, them. Oh well. And they ask, they they it's 20 steps. They have square two. You know why I ain't still running 
faster than the average motherfucker, dunking on motherfuckers no more, because I don't have the discipline. My lack of discipline has broken my body down where I ain't half as strong as I used to be. I'm watching it all just happen to me and I'm still not able to stop it. You have to have discipline in this world or your life is going to reflect lack of discipline. You're going to have a baby by a bitch that can't stand you and the baby can't stand you either because the mama don't love you. Right. Darlene, when we up in one day and we saw a little, little, a, a little baby looking weird, we saw Which a little baby been? looking weird. Then when we saw who the babies was with, we was like, they been talking shit about us. Because kids <laughs> don't right. lie. That's right. Because kids I don't lie when kids be looking at you like this. Could not stop laughing when he... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You That's bad. <laughs> My mama them say Ooh. this. They... They hear him in the car. <laughs> so when you bring the kids around, the kids don't know how to play it off. It's, it's, they I was can't. like, why that baby looking like that? <laughs> then when I saw who they was with, I was like, daddy, no. daddy right there. <laughs> Motherfucker. Man. He's so rather. <laughs> and what they do? Hey, uh-huh. come on. <laughs> Get your motherfucking name. <laughs> Ooh, that baby knew. Damn, my you motherfucking could, name. They can't yeah. hide it from it. They just gotta That's let hilarious. It. Oh, I forgot about that one. You gotta work on your discipline, Ooh. man, in life. <sighs> and you want me to tell you what helps you with discipline? Ooh. Something that a lot of people don't like to do is read, but you can listen <laughs> to audio tapes. Because you have to know certain things, man, so you're not caught out there unprepared. The more information you get, because everybody ain't gonna read a book. Right. But in this day and time, it's audio out here. Listen to people who can help you. And the people who can help you is the people the internet don't want you to listen to. Yeah, sure. <laughs> the people that get edited in the internet. Them the people go tell you the truth. Yep. Everybody, if it sound good all the time, it ain't good. Mm. Anybody who you don't never see in no conflict or nothing like that, Something wrong, because if you speaking what's right, motherfuckers don't like you. And I'm not talking about just the average motherfuckers. I'm talking about the people in charge of this country. They do not like you if you speaking some righteous shit. They like, hey, he offsetting what we trying to do. Right, mm-hmm. right. Sexy Red, them might feel guilty about their records if they listen to Corey Holcomb. <laughs> <laughs> that was right on cue, uh, wasn't right it? On, yeah, I thought that was... <laughs> And uh, like, anyway, uh-oh. so, but I'm saying, like, this is the motherfucker finna fight out there. No, oh, 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 I need some of that good. Oh, happy man. belated birthday. That's right. Oh, Thanks, this is his birthday? Man, I love Yuck. I'm telling you what I first I first started coming around Yuck, I was like, who is this nigga? I mean, I'm a fan, but who is this nigga? Man, that's a good nigga, man. Yuck ain't no fuck nigga. Yuck, yuck a good nigga for real. Anyway, nah, but Craig, I'm glad you asked me that, man. The advice I got for anybody who's trying to do anything right in this world is to master discipline. I tried to get my son to take up boxing. Because I notice a lot of boxers got discipline, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. especially with what they intake and, yeah. and getting out there and mm-hmm. making it happen. A lot of people who used to box, they look a certain way. Yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. be like, shit. I was in my best shape when I used to box. Ooh. Did you used to box? Yep. You a super soccer bitch? <laughs> I don't know how to do that, but I did it for for uh you know for workout, for, for, for exercise. Yeah, whatever I got to do to get a bag of that shit you gave me before I got you. I got you, bro. It's all good. That nigga yuck mouth be having uh, uh, what's the word when somebody got uh, 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 Yuck Mouth is a resourceful brother There you go oh, yeah. Yeah, Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. You like that mm-hmm. word huh mm-hmm. <laughs> Resourceful Unlike the bitches I fuck with hmm. No I'm just talking shit Anyway oh, man, But look man I'm putting some of y'all on blast And you can say I'm mean For doing it But you know some of this shit Is just I it, it make me mad because I hold it in. <clears throat> mm. It make me feel like I'm punking out. 
Because yeah. I'm holding in too much shit that I'm like watching what people do. Motherfucker. I talk about Will and Jada because it's internet news. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It ain't like if I saw Will um, coming out of bar with a dude. I'm going to be like, I saw Will coming out of bar with a dude. <laughs> what they, who, was that some sound? I don't know. What Where the fuck that was? Where did that come that from? That scared the fuck yeah. out of me. That just came from the... From the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the <laughs> but if it's on the internet, <laughs> if it's on the internet that Will came out of bar with a man holding hands, I'm going to joke about that. Yeah, yeah. Why can white people report on news? And still be cool. They still be getting opportunities. Yeah. But as soon as we do it, we get blackballed. We can't go certain places. You go out to comedy club. Certain people don't speak to you, you no know more. more. They're all upset. Like, man, shut. I'm so Everybody tired else been talking about it. Right. Yeah, right. Man, man I be huh. laughing at motherfuckers when they get mad at me because I done seen plenty of motherfuckers roll their eyes at me. <laughs> and when you ask them what's wrong, they don't never be like, no, nah, nigga, I don't like you, man, and that shit you did. Woo, but you like, woo. why? That's why right. I grew up around <laughs> niggas that'll just be like, hey, man, woo, 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 woo. Out here in Hollywood, I be scared to ask motherfuckers what's wrong because they ain't going to do nothing but act like I, ain't nothing wrong, man. We good. You supposed to ask them, Corey. I'm watching you, dude. You supposed yeah. to ask them. Can I ain't going to ask all gonna these people. You going to ask them, can you woo, woo, woo? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't asking them. Had to do it. Had to do it. <laughs> it might be something I can't fix anyway. Yeah. No, you can't fix it. <laughs> and you don't even want to know. You know what? It, sometimes a lot of times when people react like that to you and they don't have an actual answer, it's just personal. They just never liked you to begin with. Wow. So really don't even matter. Yeah, that, that's Some right. motherfuckers only know how to talk slick to men. Right. And then when you see them coming, you be like, oh, shit, I'm this slick talking ass nigga. Then you try to get away from them, but they corner you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Only way out that corner, you be like, get the fuck away from me, motherfucker. I don't want to hear that shit. Because yeah. uh. when you try to tell them logically, hey, man, look, you talking slick to me, man. Right. Them motherfuckers act like you really disrespected them. Yeah. And they talking slick. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, this is my thing up here. I do, and you know I own it. And woo, woo, woo. you don't own this motherfucker. <laughs> I know the motherfucking Caucasian people that own this motherfucker. Man, <clears throat> they wouldn't allow you to have nothing, <laughs> nigga. Stop telling me what you own. That's a sign of weakness. Mm -hmm. If you own it, it, ain't gotta be said. It's gonna be seen. So when you come up to me talking about, yeah, this mine up here, I run this, well, well, shut the fuck up, nigga. You bother me now. <laughs> you bother me. Now go tell all the people in your group, Corey bad and he ain't shit. So now all of a sudden they rolling their eyes at me. This, is, this shit's so common in L.A. I have motherfuckers, they see me, hey, what's up? Then I get into it with somebody, them motherfuckers like, <laughs> wow. I'm like, damn, homie, so because me and that man had a disagreement, you ain't fucking with me no more? Yeah. All right. I remember when that happened. But check this out. It? A lot of times, them men be sleeping together or they like each other. <laughs> That's the Hollywood shit. Oh, my God. Them men, and I get it then, but they won't admit it. Now, if you told me, hey, man, if you and my man ain't cool, I ain't cool with you, I can <laughs> yeah. respect that. But these niggas don't never... Act like they fuck it. And these niggas be fucking. Be they had girls around them too. <laughs> that make them look cool. But a lot of these niggas be fucking and they be mad at you because you ain't with the dick in the booty shit and you arguing with somebody. I have no use for you no more, Corey. Somebody say, Corey, did you see the Cheesecake Factory chick? Who is that? What happened? Nail, you know about it? Yo, yeah. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't get out the car? Yeah, yeah, she wouldn't get out the car. Man. That looked like it was acted out. Yeah, a lot of these are now. They, they ah, all that don't look real to me. Yeah, yeah. That's why, so I know what y'all yeah. talk about now. That shit ain't, that shit ain't real. Exactly. That bum ass bitch ain't never finna pass up no meal. Oh, oh. That's a skit, dog. That bum ass bitch ass. Bitch, get your bum ass. Ain't no mother, ain't no black woman that ain't wealthy 
not going to the Cheesecake Factory. That's hilarious. Yeah, what? that's almost mandatory, right? <laughs> I can't think of a woman south of Wilshire that's not going to go to the Cheesecake Factory. In fact, they be elated to order some orange chicken at the Cheesecake Factory. I can't not with this one. I thought you were going to say the old buffalo. Remember when it was Bro. claim jumpers? That was the first Oh, wow. Favorite. Hold <laughs> up. Man, this I love some claim jumper, though. That, a piece of that double chocolate Shit. cake. Shit. You know Ribs what that claim jumper is. There's one thing about Darlene. You take Darlene Denny's. Yeah. <laughs> what? Anything, she be happy. I love yeah. to eat. I don't care. It could be a hole in the wall. It could be a taco What's truck. What's that place we go to sometime when we leave here? What's the one? Yeah, but he don't care for it. I just uh, went to the yeah, new one. What's the name of the I place? just went to the new one in Hollywood. No. Who? No. No. Boy, Darlene was at Barney's Beatery eating some taquitos. Ooh, their chicken taquitos are good. Oh, she was so happy. Um, that's oh, a. Oh, my God. I just, just watched her eat it. I was just <laughs> Just some yeah. decent food, and I'm a happy camper. I, I thought you were going to say Norms. Norms. He don't care want? for Norms. I love Norms. Hey, Norms. Sponsor. I went to the Hollywood one when it opened up. I took I Pearl can't. Saturday uh, night. What are you talking about? The one, uh, I can't go to that Norms. Which one? No, lot, lot, you know they opened a new one in Hollywood. Okay, On yeah. Western and Hollywood Boulevard. I took Pearl there for this Saturday night. This one that got gay cooks. I'm like, how, where did they find gay uh, you want your shit yeah. fried hard? <laughs> like, what? Your fruit food. That meatloaf is tender. Oh, you know, man. You know, right. Oh. Uh, trying to get normal. some of this meat back here. <laughs> I could eat anywhere. I don't care. I was cooking it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm a survivor. I'm not going to get <laughs> Anyway. So, no, nah, hell yeah. They brought that shit up. I saw that shit up. I cut it off. I didn't finish watching it because I could tell it was a skit. I could tell. I was like, man, yeah. ain't no motherfucker got that on tape. Mm -hmm. All them, all them airplane things be skits too. Will people be on the airplane yeah. getting into it and shit like, like that? Yeah. You could tell the real ones because mm -hmm. motherfucking it be motherfucking it be intense. But if people just talking and letting people finish talking. Nah, hell no. Nah, that's yeah, a skit. That's, that ain't that's... how it really go. Mother... <laughs> uh oh. Somebody no. got slapped on the airplane? No. Yeah, well. Mm. Anyway, all I'm saying is this. Them be skits. <laughs> the one who got me was the dude who dropped off. The uh, food only for I his son. I love El Pollo Loco, yeah. Tricky and Nick. And they threw it. The girl threw the food on the floor. That was the last one to get me. Yeah. That was a skit. Mm. For sure. That was a skit. But I'm going to tell you this. If you taking kids to your child. Wait, what? Taking food to your child. If you taking things to your child. If you buy something for the other kids. You a sucker. <laughs> That's my opinion. The other kids are supposed to watch your child flourish. Remember Big's boy. Bob's big boy. And learn to hate their mama and daddy. You are not supposed to buy other kids things when you go see your child. Now, I will let my child come outside and get it at the car because I like that <laughs> walk in the house with all that shit. And they happy. They got a big one. Right. Alert. Yeah. I ain't got to see the other kid's face. I know what's going to happen. I prefer to walk in the house Thanks, and give my child all this stuff while the other kids watch. This is how the other kids be looking. Oh, that's not <laughs> fair. Yeah. Oh. I love that look Why? on other kids' face because I want his brothers and sisters to realize that they daddy, not me. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. I want them to distinguish. Daddy Corey do this. My daddy don't do nothing but try. But don't you think they'd still get the same, they'd get the same idea about their dad if you bought all of them food? Because they'd be like, well, our dad does, never gets me food. No. That's not nice. No, don't do it. What's going to happen is them kids are going to smile with you and learn how to be phony with you because they're getting something. Not Maybe necessarily. Like, when your child turned 10, one day you show up with like a, what's the little paddle batting ball game or something? Wiffle and you ball. pass that out. 
yeah. to the other little kids. Just be like, here. They appreciate you because they'll be like, oh, you gave me something fine. Thank you. They know they ain't got it like that all the time. But when they finally get something, they'll be like, oh, he finally did something. But if they know you ain't got nothing for them, right. that's crazy. They're not going to necessarily like you, but they're going to understand how life really works. Right. Don't bring kids that are not your kids nothing. It's so not nice. <laughs> That's not nice. Carol, what D say? It's not nice. Yeah. So D, if you got, but see, you only got one kid, so. But I'm just saying, it. it you don't think that those same these kids, women out here have made multiple mistakes, right? They but if they're, like you did. but if those kids, if those kids' dads ain't shit, and you come around and you bring stuff out to that, I think automatically they'd be like, my God, your dad is so nice and cool to us. I think they'd be. But like, that's more, phony. It is. It ain't phony. No, it's not. It, not if that's it. Not if that's your character. Like, look, I can't just show up at the house and not give everybody something. Right. So everybody's supposed to be like Will Smith. Try hard, get talked about. No, I'm just saying in those situations, how 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 can you do that? I would be like, hey, come here, come on, let's go for a ride or whatever, or or give it to the mom and say, hey, give it to him. I couldn't do that. You and and your like, child hey. supposed to be in the front seat. Like this, where them kids can Waving look out the goodbye. window and see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so wrong. That's crazy. Yeah. That's so wrong. See, I don't know. My dad was the opposite. Why it your on... looks so hungry over My dad was the opposite. He even said, he was yeah. like, well, because, mija, because their dads aren't around and everything, you know, yeah. I want to help them out, too. It wasn't like he said, okay, just because you're mine only, and I want to. It ain't nothing about the other kids, something, but I have to show them something in life. Mm. Okay. They already see it in life. You don't think so? Come on now. If your son, it depends on where your kid falls in the pecking order of the kids. Like, if your son is and the youngest. And how bad their mom is, too. Right. Like, yeah. how horrible the relationship is with their mom. Who when your we? son is the oldest, you could be treacherous, but if he the youngest. Oof. You know what I'm saying? Uh, That's a man. You, uh, you might have to snatch him out of that, out of that household. You know what I'm saying? Because if that older brother is fucked off, ain't no telling what he gonna do to your son when you leave him over there. Yikes, you know what I'm saying? Yikes! These kids be trying to fuck kids at the house. Man, I know a nigga that's the. You young. ain't my real brother, been over. <laughs> it's just don't nobody talk about this. Anybody know anything about child protective services? Them kids in there, fucking kid. That's real. <laughs> it's yeah. a cold world. If your son is the youngest, like Craig said, and he is not biologically <laughs> kin to them other kids, your son is passing out brown fingers. That's real shit. He, he the youngest of nine gay brothers. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that older brother is a motherfucker, man. All his brothers got dookie fingers. <laughs> In some of these households. They're getting their shitterest knocked in. <laughs> they mm, shitterest. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Jesus. Know. Craig came up with that word. When I you see guess. other people lose it, using yeah. it. Hell yeah. It's like loose talk about bullshit. When you see people using that, you saw it first mm -hmm. on the 5150 show. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, Craig, that youngest child that ain't kin to him other kids. Hey, that's a problem, man. That's sad. Mm -hmm. They catch you bad, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and if you got a daughter and her, her older sister is stud, oh man, you really she she might kill off your bloodline, man. Mm -hmm. Eating your, da eating your daughter. Oh pussy. my lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What if your daughter the youngest? Yeah, she got the she can't stay there. That means the little brother could violate and the baby won't be retarded. Yeah. What if your daughter got ass and she the youngest? You really gotta get her out. <laughs> My daughter got ass. I got to get her out the house, man. Her brothers. You got a new nigga? Oh, I'm getting my child. <laughs> That's a cold reality. I hope my daughter don't have ass, man. I oh, want my God. You guys I want my daughter to have ass, man. I don't, you know. You say you want your daughter I to have ass? I don't want her to have ass. Right. Yeah, I want her to be normal. She can focus in life. Yeah, man. Do something, do something positive. Your daughter's thick and attractive, goddammit. Yeah. Life going to throw her <laughs> off track. Get you an average to ugly daughter. Yeah. yeah. She gonna be a lawyer. <laughs> you ever gone to these lawyer conventions? <laughs> Man. I went to one in downtown LA about four or five years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's different. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> hey, I see. 
<laughs> yeah, lawyer bitches be weird as a motherfucker, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doctor bitches be bad. I had a doctor bitch before. She was bad. Dentist, yeah, yeah dentist. dentist huh? But lawyers, they be weird. I saw this doctor bitch, and she was working on this girl I was with. An old girl who I was with, um, she had a um, she had a pussy fixed, and uh, the doctor bitch was looking at her pussy because you know it's just her job, and she was yeah. pointing at the area that was gonna heal up and shit. And I just was looking, I was like, because the doctor bitch never combed her hair, right? Right. Like she was a sister from somewhere. Right. Oh, oh, okay. So it was like natural. It looked and like it she was had the rusty feet. Lady is highly educated. How the educated, hell do you though? know she right. has rusty feet? Because she had on some sandals yeah. and her you... feet looked like she <laughs> ran through the place where they make the middle of the Oreo. In a doctor <laughs> visit, in, in, uh, she Oreo had on what? sandals. In, what? She had on sandals while she was checking a patient. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. man. That Come on. was a Philistine. I, it, looked like, on it, it looked like it was part yeah. of her culture. <laughs> oh. She was yeah. not from the United States. That's some Old Testament shit. Sand- <laughs> cannot Sandals in the hospital. You. Cannot. <laughs> That's what she <laughs> this guy. She looked like she was from that village yeah. on uh, Indiana Jones Temple of Doom. Oh, they yeah. took the rock. <laughs> and- <laughs> Hell yeah. Remember man. when the kids came back to the village? That lady yeah. who was like, Whoopa, he's the Bridget. One of them bitches. Oh, that's funny. What? I'm telling you, bitch was an Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom, uh, broke village bitch. <laughs> she was an extra in there. She had to be. Man. Anyway, fuck. I'm sending you some photos, Niall. Sorry about you that. You ready? Guys. Sort of. You, you need some more time? A little bit, like. I mean, it's two okay, minutes. B. We, oh. got, we got plenty to cover. Mm. I know, and I don't <laughs> see the clock, Niall. It's, it's down, so let me see. Okay, got it. I just. Okay. It's all good, D. You keep 15. trying to read. She stomped the forest out with them feet. Yeah, she had some. I can't. And it was no shame though. She didn't. Yeah. She didn't have that. Yeah. Oh, you know, she ain't even from here. Right, right, she right. She was just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's how we die. <laughs> like, well, how did? You, what is that hairstyle called? That bitch would be uh, like sleep. Uh, oh God, on one side. <laughs> the foreigner bitches become doctors so they can heal themselves. Bitch, I just woke up here. <laughs> The foreign bitches become doctors so they can heal themselves after they, after they get their ass whooped at the crib. Them foreigners be whooping. Them Arabic dudes, man, they be beating the dog shit out they women at the house. Is that is that Cameroon? Cameroon. That Cameroon? Oh, that's Africa. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. I got a girl that I'm fucking with, and she was talking about how dude be beating her ass. Right. Or she stopped messing with him because right. he used to beat her up all right. the time. And I'm just like, damn, that's fucked up. And she said, yeah, and I caught him with this other girl. And she said that he beats her too. And I was like, oh, he an oh. ass whooping. <laughs> that boy ain't playing right there. Yeah, he's training for a fight. That's why I was telling her, like, you know, if we get cool and shit, you have to, you have to, you can never, you can never tell me to fix it and then it go backwards. Right. Because she keeps saying, I don't want to be with him no more. I mean, I didn't heard that shit before. Yeah. It's your baby daddy. He's going to always be able to come get that pussy. Be- right. Girls always fuck their baby daddy, at least to the child is 10. That's, That's right. when they start to weed off baby daddy dick. Right, right. I, hell yeah. That's my opinion. It is. I know. We've heard it. But <laughs> crazy. I told old girl, I can't never say nothing to him about that. If you ever want me to say something for real, yeah. you have to understand there's no turning around. You can't have me mad and checking the motherfucker for whooping your ass and then he back fucking you again. Yeah, exactly. So you got to leave me out of that. <laughs> <laughs> it was this one girl getting her ass whooped yeah. while she was on the phone with me. Yeah, yeah. And she yeah. said, Corey. Ah. I was like, Come on, call the police. <laughs> she sounded like Roots. Come on now. I told her, call the police, bitch. Uh. I can't do nothing. Um, if I do something, I'm in it. <laughs> I'm knee deep in you it. You already in it because she called you. I'm That's not in it because we fucking. Any kind of court thing, they're going to be like, look I who she ain't... last spoke with. No, hell no. I'm, uh, I'm a trick. Uh, I ain't no motherfucking. Uh, I'm not Captain Sable. I used to uh, fuck with this bitch whose dude was a clown. He used to whoop her ass. The nigga used to eye gouge her. Oh, stop. He now, see, a, I knew he couldn't eat. He, 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 he had a real job as a clown. 
Hey, kids. Hold on one second, kids. I'm a fucking big ass when I get home. Hey, kids, let's hurry up and get this birthday party over. Damn it. <laughs> he's trying to wrap up the birthday party. The domestic party. abuse clown. That no, he's, a, doing, he's doing the balloon. That should be a movie. He's doing the, the balloon figures. Movie. That's the worst. The balloon figures. Get home. We got a bitch. Oh, oh my God! Don't mess <laughs> <fucking can't. laughs> the confused clown. Oh, now he's one of the three Stooges. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> That motherfucker be in front of the judge like, I don't know what the problem is. I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, oh, my God. <laughs> That's some funny shit, man. Uh, I would go watch the domestic abuse yeah. clown. Oh, oh. That shit would be funny to the That's motherfucker. You got to write that. Down. The domestic abuse clown. That's funny. Oh, Because oh, oh, oh. nobody would believe that. No. But yeah, to him, he's Bozy. a nice guy. Bozy. He be out there with the neighbors. Her, her, her. <laughs> Hi. That motherfucker be in there all dark. <laughs> <laughs> With the big shoes. Take that big Ronald McDonald shoe. <laughs> His son uh, loyal to him. Go get me the cookie roller. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, man, that shit would be so motherfucking funny, man. <laughs> the domestic abuse club. Oh, God. What's his I name? Can't. I don't know. What's his name, man? Uh, what if he joined the ICU? Oh, yeah. You try He'll be like, come here, Thanos. right. That sounds like one of the current rappers <laughs> with all those hey, kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's his main thing. <laughs> hey, kids, how are you? <laughs> you having a good time? <laughs> 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 the domestic level. abuse clown. Hell no. Oh, God. I think I'm going to start writing that Shit. motherfucker for real. God, anyway. this is okay. All right. So, it's a part of the show. <laughs> it ain't helping nothing. Shut up. We need to call the domestic abuse clown in to help with this part of the show. Uh-huh. Darlene's loose. Talk about bullshit. Thank you guys so much. Look at that. We are on time. This is incredible. All right. Now, I just want to let y'all know. (laughs) I'll tell y'all, dog. I can't. The industry repo show coming back. Why? It's going to come back hardcore. Nice. We're going to have a real booking agent, so I ain't got to call favors. Nice. Okay. (laughs) We got to get that clown in here, man. Domestic (laughs) abuse clown. Got to hire a nigga to be the clown. A clown bouncer, man. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> okay, so as we've spoken before about the the hit and mostly misses when it comes to those damn wax figures. And, man, did they screw punchy up the... Punchy the clown, I'm sorry. Punchy, there, punchy. You go. there it yeah. is, there it is. Um, and, man, did they screw up this latest one that everybody's talking about. Um, they did a terrible job on replicating Dwayne the Rock Johnson. They and did a what? They did a terrible job at at replicating Dwayne the Rock Johnson, you know, the wax figures. Can we yeah. see him? Yeah, and everybody is actually saying it looks more like Vin Diesel, which they did have a beef before, so apparently they've made up, I don't know, since then. But, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, wah, wah. Yeah, it looks terrible. Eh. <laughs> you think so? It, it, it resembles The Rock. No, they always the kind of close. They're, it looked like The Rock fucked the shit out of Mr. Clean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's so, that's and, the and old, that nigga looked like the oldest of nine gay brothers. <laughs> it's called Clean Rock. <laughs> Terrible. Get you in a headlock and slob, on, slob you down. Mr. Um, rock and shit. And then the next one was Little Wayne. I don't know if you've seen that one, but they did Little Wayne. They made a good attempt at it. Oh, look what at What a Little Wayne. Oh, you? my God. It was, God, I can't believe Why this his one. arms crossed? What oh. the fuck? <laughs> the Little Wayne that one. Shit. That is so That's scary. That's Tracy Chapman. <laughs> Passion. I cannot. It's, it's so bad. Oh, my God. It's so bad. <laughs> and and the one that they actually got kind of right, it's so scary that it looks just like the guy is Travis Barker. So it happened to be a, a white guy. But it but but it it look look at that. It looks just like him. The real Travis is in the red shirt. How creepy is that? Yeah, that, that, that yeah, wow. They it, got they it's got it. It's so easy right. to duplicate obvious Bagdoria. Oh, 
I cannot with this one here. Anyway, oh God. Oh shoot! Put your forgot. hand back then. I forgot to send you guys this one, but there's one of Will Smith recently. It looks so bad. I forgot to chop it up. Yes, you will. Okay, it's put all. Your hand, put your hand back then. See how open the asshole is. It's all greasy and super <laughs> shiny, and it's the face is darker and the ears are light. I don't understand how they get these wrong. Anyway, I don't know how. And you know they're paying a grip to these people that are the artists that's doing them. Great job on Travis, by the way. So anyway. Yeah, the one on Will Smith was super oh, is that? scary. Hey, my man, my man, and uh, my man, and um, mm -hmm. there it is. Look at Will Smith. Come on now. Oh, what the fuck is that, man? <laughs> that is, oh, wow. That's the wax figure. That looked like, like the monster on Beowulf. Yeah, <laughs> that shit look crazy. That man. looks wild. They're just they're so bad. Look up Brindle on Beowulf. He looked just like it. And you see, remember the last time we spoke about this was when they finally got one right, and that was with uh, Homegirl, yeah. Meg the Stallion. Anyway, but yeah, they didn't get any of these guys right. None. I mean, hey, just my Travis. man out there in Louisiana, you know who you are. Hurry up and make that domestic abuse clown. Oh, God. Oh, the, uh, make a picture of the domestic you abuse clown. You talking about David? Okay. You talking about David? David, make that domestic abuse clown ASAP. If you're in the chat, David, let's get that. I think we're going to call him Punchy for real. Oh, Punchy. I think there is there a real character. Punchy, Punchy? the domestic abuse clown. Oh. Hey, kids. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, moving on. In court news. Oof, wow. <clears throat> if you don't know who she is, um, reality star British Williams, she was on Basketball Wise and Marriage Boot Camp, pleaded for leniency. Earlier today, actually, after um, pleading guilty to 15 various accounts of felony fraud um, to a federal judge in St. Louis, um, but he was not having it. And he even told her that he believes she possesses a fraudster mentality. Um, she was sentenced today early, um, for four years after being indicted back in 2021. Um, at that time, she was allegedly, she was accused at the time for what prosecutors um, are saying was a myriad, and that means so many, that's multiple, of crimes, which included applying, allegedly, applying for loans, taking out cr lines of credit, opening bank accounts for her other businesses, all in other people's names and social security numbers. Um, and also she submitted, allegedly, nine applications for COVID-19 relief funds with all false information using other people for income, payroll, and submitting fake medical bills to an insurance company. Anyway, court docs say that even after being indicted, they got I think, a picture of the picture? Yeah, I sent you guys pictures. What a picture? Um, um, oh. Even, they say that the, oh, yeah, um, that bitch, anything on her face. The court, the court papers say that um, even after being indicted back in 2021, that she continued to commit fraud. So people, what's the lesson? Um, anyway, along with the four years, she has been also ordered to pay a restitution of $564,000 and will be on supervised release even after she gets out. So after she serves her time, she'll be so on... So she didn't get no real money? What do you mean? This bitch gonna do four well, years for 500 stacks? No, well, that's all that they can, I guess, you know, show or what have you. So who knows? I don't She's know. She's from St. Louis, though, right? Or at least that's where it happened in the city where they got her in the court. So anyway, even after she's released after the four years, she has to be on supervised, um, like a supervised release for five years. Um, Can you look at that woman and see that that's not wifey? Well, she was on marriage boot camp, so whoever she was married to. I didn't even watch that, but I don't even know who she was. So she, she was married to some basketball player or had a relationship with a ma basketball player to be on that reality show. But anyway, if anything positive from this, I don't know. I'm not trying to be funny or anything. She is. She will be. Baby going, hair bitch is bad. Let's just put it like you that. stupid. She will be serving federal prison time, which is very different from state. So, you know, so she won't be around some real killers and stuff like that. So if anything, girl. I have to and, get dead pussy. <clears throat> And if you look at the video of earlier today when they um, gave her the sentence, uh, wow, yeah, her little crew, they were trying to cover them cameras. They were mad. They were all walking out of the courthouse. Anyway. Ain't it hard to take pussy by sucking it? What? Uh, like, getting raped in a female jail. Uh, yeah. Like. Yeah, but they have, they have can, the men's security people there that work there, though, too. You think they're going to break that up right away? No. But, oh, you mean if they see something happen? No. Beat off to us yeah. first. Right. Probably. Yeah, bitch. Probably. <laughs> they want to see what a pussy look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though that girl is a train wreck right there, like if she was 
If I had a chance to see a pussy, I'd look at it. Yeah, mm. I'll fuck the dog shit out of her, man. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> yeah, why not? So, anyway. They ain't worth putting your dick in. They ain't mm. worth nothing else. That's the problem they have. Yeah. They can't figure that out. You know. After you fuck them, they be you know like, what just so, is? <laughs> so what's funny. up? Like little bitch at the hotel who came up to the room. I knew she was going to come up to the room as soon as I checked in. Yeah. That bitch came up to the room and she earned a hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> oh my god! And it was quick. Yeah. Got over with real fast. No more. Mm, anyway. This bitch called me today talking about. So how you been? I was like, <laughs> gone. <laughs> bitch, I'm in California. You know how many hotel bitches out here? Uh, wow. Uh, Once we leave the city, you are useless unless we at that city and. Desperate and lonely again. Just know that. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway. Somebody say she's straight for the stroke. She can get it, but she not. All y'all motherfuckers who be cuffing her, y'all be cuffing them. So what Cuffing I- like, oh, this is my everything. And that motherfucker ain't did nothing but read it on you. Mm, mm, so let mm, me mm. ask you a question. I don't know how this works. So, so she got to pay. Over five hundred thousand in restitution. Mm-hmm. What's she going to get it? You think? Okay, I'm mad. Get it on her back. Yeah, oh, she, oh, Lord Jesus yeah, she, Christ! When she out here, she can get it on her back. Any yeah. woman who behind, if you're really willing to listen, in, if you're willing to listen to real coaching, I can help you get out of debt. And mostly in situations like that, Craig, because yeah. that happened to that other Jen. What's her name, Jen? forget why or something like that on another reality thing where she did got busted for fraud as they the the government goes and repossesses everything and then at least first tries to sell off everything that they owned yeah, okay so to try and get some of it back you might say what was in. the name of the opening act on sunday in 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 um in um in new york her name is vaughn in new york vaughn I think she's originally from Pittsburgh, but she spent a lot of time in New York. Vaughn was the opening act. That's um, the young lady who used to be with the great <clears throat> Patrice O'Neal. O'Neal. Oh, wow. How many dicks should it take a woman to get 500,000? She should be she should be putting in a lot of work, but in this country, a girl who knows how to hustle lames can get money like that fast. If you know how to hustle the lane. Yeah. Some girls don't know how to hustle the lane because they lead um, with their mind. They lead emotionally with their vagina. But the girls who know how to get beat up and work the next fool, they can get their paper. Right. Hawafia, yeah. that's funny. Lose the connection mentally to the vagina. It should be uh-huh. no connection. Your vagina was given to you to hustle with if you wasn't raised right. <laughs> if you wasn't raised right, you can say, but I still got there. <laughs> Stupid. <clears throat> I'm just telling you, you ain't got to believe me. All right. I know some girls who <clears throat> eat good because they hustle the wallet between they leg. It ain't connected to nothing. It look hustled. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well hustled vagina look like McGriff the crime dog mouth. Oh. Electric slide skin. <laughs> oh my God. Hustled. Jesus. So they get naked like and open their legs. You'd be like, what is that, up. pasta? Oh, oh my <laughs> Lord. Pasta? Yeah, get your ramen noodle womb having ass up out of here. Jesus. It's been sucked so much, the skin is wiggly. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> okay, moving on. That's why I want to see old girl vagina, to see how much she's been hustling it. Damn. I wonder when they, she's going in. That's terrible. But again, well, like I said, can... federal prison apparently is not. Yeah, exactly. That's what Martha Stewart Well hustled womb. Mm-hmm. Hey, can we get pictures of well hustled oh, wounds? Oh man, no, I you can't put, put them on them. a t-shirt. A well hustled womb. I want to see it blew out. 
I wanted to look like a tire. A motherfucker drove 20 miles on. And blew out yeah, on the middle. To get to the gas station. On the way to Vegas. <laughs> blew out, hot tire. Okay. Anyway. Um, the rim bent all up. <laughs> It's all warped. God damn it. All right. All right. Well, hustle womb looked like the top of my head. <laughs> all right. Damn it. Okay, moving on. Um, so Tyrese's ex wife, Samantha, Samantha Lee, just revealed Oh, that got well hustle womb. Look at oh, that. Oh, was that Arby's? Yeah. Damn it. It's a well hustled womb. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, um, Tyrese's ex-wife, Samantha Lee, just revealed that she'd consider <laughs> reconciliation if yeah. both are willing to work. And she says that she regrets letting outside influences lead her to divorcing him. Tyrese. She Tyrese spoke on it. She stressed. What did say? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get it out. No, no, no. I'm going to give you more. I'm going to get her. Okay. I'm going to get her. She stress <laughs> She's stressed that she thinks people take divorce very casually and that she remembers when she made the final decision she said she was very very hurt angry and added that she was hysterically crying on the phone with an attorney and that she realizes now she was not in any position to make that decision in calling it she she said she was an emotionally intoxicated she also added that even if even when people do calm down after filing for divorce that you've made um something irreparable an irreparable hole is what she called it just because you don't um you didn't have the ability to step back from your emotions so she says she regrets doing it at that time fuck that bitch 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 let me tell you something in order for them whores to go down there and start the divorce with a lawyer they have to do things with the intent to destroy you mm. Don't ever let no woman tell you, oh, I wasn't trying to destroy you. They don't want you to still have a life after they're gone. Mm. That woman realizes Tyrese still has a life. <laughs> that is why she is acting like she regrets it. If she had totally destroyed the brother, she would be like, oh, he can get the fuck on now. Mm, real shit. Yeah, yeah. That woman ain't shit. I know what it takes to fill out the paperwork to go down there and divorce, aka destroy a man, especially a brother who come from the hood, who come from nothing. We don't have it like that. Where we need to be in a courthouse trying to come up with every bit of information of everything we do. Mm -hmm. But the evil bitch. Because it takes an evil bitch to That's run right, you through Abby a courthouse. Jackson. It's too late for her. I mm. wish the lead attorney was still here so we could get his opinion oh, on this. Oh, that's true. We could have got his. He's in the chat. Is he? In order for a woman to go through a divorce with a lawyer, she has to wish you bad. That's real shit. I believe she's come out of it. She realizes Tyrese is not finished. So she's trying to see if he will fall forward again. Brother Tyrese, let me tell you something. You a big, tall, black brother. Them hoes a dime a dozen. Just like that. They a dime a dozen. You fell for it, G. Maybe more than once you fell for it. But now you at an age, my brother. Well, you got to realize, dog, mm -hmm. you ain't nothing but a target. You a famous black man. To find something that's really there for you is impossible. Maybe if you lucky, God will bless you with something that's worth a dime. But going out here with these hoes, and these hoes ain't shit. Trust me. They not even mentally stable. They are brick wall at 100 miles per hour running into. Them bitches gouge righteousness. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And he, I feel like, oh, sorry. It. Did he? Because he I feel like, it, yeah. I feel like after that divorce, sorry, Craig, that he, say? I think that he, he's actually, sounds like he's getting, how you say, stronger, right? Yeah. He said what you said in his own words. 
he basically said that, hey, what is she talking about, man? <laughs> she waited till I left town, put the whole divorce thing together. We were, you know, we had counselors trying to help us in our situation, and she basically left with my baby when my baby was a year old. Oof. You know, yeah. if you look up the video, yeah, he spoke on through. it in detail. But mm. They don't want you to have influence over that baby. They want that baby to be under their tutelage, to grow up and be an ain't shit motherfucker again. Mm, mm, mm. I'm telling you, man, motherfucker don't know the bitch the worst thing God put on this planet. You know what, T. And Curry, you something up, else. That's too much. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. A bitch the worst thing God put on this planet, and bitches gonna get offended. I wish him well, though. And like I always said, oh, I, I, I think Tyrese is super talented. I love his singing. Anyway. All I, right. wish, I wish me and Tyrese was homies just so I could show him things, and I'm sure he'll show me some things. Because, like, Tyrese, in my opinion, I believe that Tyrese believes in too many people. I think he believes in too many people. Most of the time when he upset right, Tucker, is somebody he believed in that got him. Tyrese, yep. friendship is a very rare thing. Ain't Them people ain't fucking with you because of you, homie. Them people fucking with you because you Tyrese the singer. Friendship is earned. Mm. I love telling bitches that when they ask me something. You didn't earn that from me. Talking about, I, I, I met this bitch one day, I had faked the bitch out twice. I faked the bitch out, just flat out faked the bitch out. Had too much shit to do. Right, but and the bitch came to me and was say. like, yeah. Corey, you faked me out and all that shit. And I was like, my bad, I ain't mean to do you like that. Meet up with me. Oh, I'm going to give you $200. She flaked. Well, that bitch got out the bed, had on her bonnet, drove down to the meeting spot that I told her to meet at. The fact that she met me there let me know she was thirsty. I had this bitch meet me by alley on purpose because it's <laughs> thought in my head to what I do. When that bitch pulled up at the alley, you know what that bitch said? You ain't give me but $200. Oh. <laughs> Damn, wow. I was laughing so hard. I said, bitch, I smell the smoke on your car tires. You drove down here to get that $200. Uh. <laughs> you talking shit, you folks. Oh, bitch. you didn't tell how much you were going to give her beforehand? I told the bitch I'm going to give her $200. No, I'm sorry. I didn't tell her I was going to give her $200. Oh, she scurried But I told her I was oh. going to give her something. Right, oh, right. that was that sounded like five hundred to her, I'm at least sorry. a thousand. Man, I gave that bitch that two hundred dollars. I never called that bitch again in my life. I I I <laughs> I, 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 I squared up with the hoe. Two hundred dollars, man. That bitch can perpetrate all she want to perpetrate. I know what you do for a living. I knew two hundred would summon you. I knew it. When I'm talking to a woman, I know her needs. It's in your eye. When I'm talking to a woman, I know if she is well kept up. I know if she in a struggling situation. You don't have to explain nothing to me. God lives within me. I know your struggle. Hmm. I know that car note is overbearing to you. You regret it signing for it. That's why God put soldiers like me on this planet. To show you, in order to get through this car note, to pay off. That 2014 forerunner. Hilarious. He's you have to do things to compromise yourself because you didn't prepare yourself right in life. Who said that? That's why God put me in like me here. I'm Nate. I'll set it off. <laughs> I love sweating on bitches I don't know. I could see him trying to duck the sweat. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> bitch, fuck, stop. TMI, TMI. I'm the, I'm the, I think, <laughs> let me tell you something. I could never complain about nothing these last 
These last 10 years of life, what the fuck I look like complaining? I don't do nothing but win. I'm around bitches that don't give a fuck about me, but they are in a position where they can't do nothing. I don't live with them. They can't, they got the script out here they run. What's that shit when somebody live with you or be at your house all the time? They can mm-hmm. say that you common law. Oh yeah, common law marriage, yeah. I don't keep no don't bitch really in my those. house. Squatter rights. Squatter that rights. Too. He that, know what oh, it well, is. That's got more power than than. Thanks, um, Dyer with the beach. The, we, the beach dude here, he cold with that shit. We gonna do something. I know what the bitch is up to. I love waking up in the morning Boy, let me tell you something. They coming for you. (laughs) Boy, every man in his house should have a button he press where them shades open up where the sun come in. (laughs) Them vampire bitches be like, yeah. (laughs) I laugh at life, dog. I'm in control of this shit. I'm not finna be caught up with a smile. My brother, Tyrese, you always show me love when you see me. I love you, brother. We on the same page. But them hoes that you meet out there, them attractive, rotten whores. I think he know by now, though. I think so. Huh? Mm-hmm. You, I've been seeing his demeanors. Yeah, it's totally different. Huh? Ain't yeah. nothing. Don't let him make you bitter, G. Don't let him make you bitter. You know you fell for it. It's your fault. We don't know how to find a woman that really fuck with us. We got to get lucky and get blessed. You don't know how to find, Craig, you're not going to go out there and find no woman that really got your back. You got to get lucky. God put her in your life. Uh, some bitch said to me, God damn it, something about being the main one, but. I was like, ain't no but, bitch. Ooh. If you for me, you with me. Right. I ain't got to be scared of no buts. If you for me, you for me. It ain't no Oh, Thanks but you got to, No, I ain't got to do shit but be me. Because most of the bitches mad because you fucking other bitches. And how you going to stop that? If you a man, how you going to stop that? I think Nail is a very respectable young brother. But he going to fuck them hoes. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who he with. Don't put his business he out there. He is not going to fuck them. He is going to fuck them hoes. He, I believe that not, uh, 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 Abe... If Abe had a girl, he would try to do right by her. I really do believe that. I believe if Abe had a girl that was able to make him think, let me say that part again. If Abe had a girl that was able to make him think she was down with him, Abe would only fuck with her. Unless some bad bitch approached him, but that ain't going to (laughs) happen. Oh, wow. Damn, Abe. That's how he feels about it. Abe still has a heart of gold, but that's what makes me worry about him. I know he going to get destroyed. When Abe come in this motherfucker, who we going to start this shit? I'm going to know. A bitch got the best of him. <laughs> oh, when he comes in. that ain't his demeanor right now. Oh, my God. Abe a good dude. He just ain't, he, he gonna get destroyed. He just, he is sweetheart, but I'm telling you, I watch what Abe do. Abe try to help people. Abe will be around a situation that ain't even helping him grow just to help people. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Be a good dude. Yeah, I am. It's a shame the world gonna take advantage of him. Oh, damn. He's foreseeing your future, I'm Abe. telling you, I know guys like Abe. It ain't that many of them out there. Abe is shit. Abe, a nice guy. Anyway, but listen, back to the Tyrese thing really quick. Uh, he's also been talking about a new album, and he says that this whole situation kind of inspired him, you know what I'm saying, and has given him some other ideas, and he's going to come back pretty hard on this one. So I can't wait. Good luck to you, Shout brother Tyrese. To Tyrese. We it's root for you. No release date yet, but it'll be called Beautiful Pain. We have laughed at Tyrese Definitely. when he upset on the internet, but and I he's swear my it like heart, a champ. my heart is with Tyrese. Oh, All right, I, get it. I love yeah. my brother Tyrese. Whatever you do, don't put the tongue ring back on. Oh, right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Damn. <laughs> it's gonna be a double album too. He said so. That's gonna be fire. I can't. Tyrese, wait. make that shit happen, G. Yep. Hell yeah, man. <clears throat> All right, moving on. Um. A Netflix movie to suggest. I caught it by accident. Um, algorithms, of course. And I just saw the um, 
preview for it, and it looks pretty damn funny. Um, it star, it's called Old Dads, and it stars Bill Burr. And we were just talking about this fella that we like, and we hadn't seen him in a while, Bokeem Woodbine. And Bobby uh, Cannavale, that's a stand-up, I think, stand-up comedian he does, and he's an actor. Um, and anyway, it's about a cranky middle-aged dad, Bill Burr, and his two best friends, those other fellas, um, where they end up finding themselves out of step in the changing world of millennials. It looks pretty damn funny. Yeah. So we'll see. I don't know. But just something to check out on Netflix. Being an old dad means <laughs> that you didn't know you were still potent and that bitch kept it. <laughs> <laughs> Is the baby all right? <laughs> Stupid. Them old dads make them sickly babies. I'm telling you. Born with a pulled hamstring and shit. Right. Oh, born with a... <laughs> God dang it. I tell a bitch, you get pregnant by me. Bo I'm King, at that age. That baby right. might come out like... He's stupid. <laughs> Bokeem is a legend. I can't wait. Yeah, it, he looks great in it, too, by the way. Oh, my God. Bokeem he, keep himself up? Yeah. He looks really good, so can't wait for that. And also, just a heads up, I know we're coming up on... Halloween, so that means the end of the month is coming up. Halloween is actually on a Tuesday. Are you guys going to be dressing up next week? No. Oh, stop, Craig. Because the show is on Halloween, mm. I'm going to dress up Yay! next week. Oh, okay. See? I mean, it's on Halloween. Yeah. I mean, Come I ain't on. no obligation for nobody else to dress up. See? But I'm going I'm to I'm I'm try to find a costume that's something different. Yeah. I might pay somebody to make some crazy shit for me. Oh. I actually know a a, a, a lady who would make some crazy shit. She's actually very Good. talented. Like, yo, she's standout talented when it comes to making different things. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if it's enough time, but um, I'm going to get with her. She's from Detroit. Nice. This is so crazy. She's she from Detroit. And one day she was up my homeboy house in Atlanta. And my homeboy was like, boy, Corey, you a legend, boy. Somebody was talking about woo, 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 woo. And I was like, that's my dude, Corey. And he put it on FaceTime. I was laughing. Like, what you doing? Oh, that's there? the same one. Oh, wow. That's why, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, like, but she was making something for somebody. Oh, okay. Well, she, there you she go. Raw with that. I'm a, I, That'll if, be fun. If she can That'll make it, I'm going to let everybody know who did it, and it's going to help her business. Help her build it. Yeah. Okay, good. And then also, just a heads up to the fellas. Because, I don't know if you heard about this, but November is no shave November. So they want to see people are going to be sporting their beards. So I'm looking forward to see some um, folks that didn't have one or maybe have one. Maybe it feel, it fills out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. If you guys didn't know, the ladies are looking forward to November because it's called No Shave November. And I, on that note, just want to give props to the original OG, my dad who had one of the best, best beers ever and way ahead of everybody back in the day. Can so. women be part of this? Stop shaving the monkey. Oh, actually, you know what? Hey, we should all start putting that out there. It is mm. wintertime. I just don't like <laughs> women with a lot of meat who didn't shave their monkey. <sighs> girls, if you're skinny and shaved, that's different. But right. when big girls shave, that, it look weird. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Mm -hmm. It look weird. Mm -hmm. It'd be like what? I mean, like I can't even describe what it looked like, like when that a baboon booty. A big girl, a big baboon booty. Yeah, you see that yeah. big piece of meat on the back of baboon tuna head down yeah. there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what the fuck are you doing with that? What's that thing for uh, Christmas for? Um, <laughs> that people have all them candles. On. What oh, the cornucopia? Uh -huh. What hell it the is? The thing on the table that looks like a horn? Big girls don't look right with no vaginal hair. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That big pelvic, goddammit. No nut November, no Mike. Get your sailboat womb looking ass up out of here. That's stupid. Jerome going up them stairs. That Jerome from I Stop, man. We finna get it cracking, Jerome. All right, we taking a break. Y'all sleep on me. Anyway, we're going to come back with the song hey. and get up out of here on time. Oh, yeah. Damn, time flew by. Man. Sure time does. Time. I know. Wow. I was looking at the clock. We're going to get the beat together and come back with this song and, and sign out. 5150. Oh. We'll be right back.
150 show. The fifty one fifty show. The fifty one fifty show.
50 show. Test, 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 testing. 5150 back in the house, about to do these things, oh. coming out the mouth. All right. Y'all know what's up. Happy birthday, Dyer Lansky. Yay, you dig what I'm that's saying? Right. The legend. My, my man began us these original beats we could try to flow off of. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, Legend That's right. All day, baby. Salute. All day. I don't know. His shoe collection might be on par with yours, Corey. We be going at it. I see yeah. what he got on. Yeah, he be having. I kicks. got them ones they wore in the movie. Um, you people. I forgot the name. Uh, what they call? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Need those. Ooh. You know. I'm gonna, tell, I'm gonna look them up. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, they was they Jackie. Air Forces, Air Forces oh. Jackie oh. Robinson. Oh, wow. I need those. You know, he's from my hometown. I just bought them Ben and Jerry's. Huh. Everybody don't know about I, I them. Yeah. Yeah. I seen, I seen you, had the, the, you had the white and green forest one night, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yeah. What's That's up, baby? Right hey. I am. All right, fuck it. Let's try to do something with this song. Appreciate y'all. Oh, oh good. We really be and coming up more. with these songs during the little quick break. On the spot. I don't know. I forgot the hook already. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I know. I'm just fucking with you. Uh, that that would never, never. 43. Never yeah, go there. Lansky's still in his early 40s. Yeah. God damn it. That means he can still get a bitch pregnant. <laughs> That's real shit, yeah. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah. Thank you, Jess Susie. A raw dog with expensive shoes on. I actually only <laughs> flipped my hair to the side because my grays were too gray in the center and I didn't have time to dye my hair. Somebody say, motherfucker, got a pair of Josh Gibson's Reebok. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this nigga crazy. Shout out to the brother Richard Roundtree. I heard he passed. I guess oh, that's true. Oh, no. Really? Richard, I didn't hear that. That sounds familiar. Ooh. Damn. The Richard Roundtree, yeah, the original Shad. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. I don't know. Yeah. No, Craig a little younger than us, man. Yeah, he. Yeah, you know, that I, motherfucking beat ain't working, huh? Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, Come on uh, with it. Hey. Hey. I don't know. It's gonna kick in. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna try to make the best out this beat. Hey. Start it off with the hook. Check it. Even though I'm fucking your bitch, I would never let her disrespect ya. Never let her disrespect you, fucking your bitch. I would never let her disrespect you. I would never let her disrespect you. Even though I'm fucking your bitch, I would never let her disrespect you. Never let her disrespect you. Even though I'm fucking your bitch, I would never let her disrespect you. Let me tell you what I do, see. I'm fucking your bitch straight raw. I'm putting my dick in a jar, but I would never let her say nothing bad about you. When she start, I said, no, no, no. See, all these hoes got bitter in the eye. All these hoes gon' tell you a lie. I love you. Get the fuck out of here. Ditch your pussy while I'm drinking my beer. Yeah, every time I'm fucking your old bitch, I never let the whole disrespect you. Yeah. Never let her disrespect Even you. Even though I'm fucking your bitch, I would never let her disrespect I you. I won't let her disrespect 
Even though I'm fucking your bitch, I would never let her disrespect you. I won't let her disrespect you. Even though I'm fucking your bitch, I would never let her. Big facts gon' tell him what you do. Don't use his name in vain. Cause that man feels pain like I do when it rains. Don't ever talk bad about Cliff. Cause I know what he going through, especially with a bitch. They gon' talk back. Uh, triangulate and act foul Be on the prowl Treat you like you a fat cow Though you been working Jerking trying to support her She gon' treat you bad And probably abort your daughter Do what you <laughs> order Put that hoe to slaughter Make her look like You just fucked around and fought her Look nigga uh. Lay back Act like you taught her Cause the pain you brought her Will bring you to the motherfucking Even altar Even though I'm fucking your bitch I would never let her disrespect you Give a little word. disrespect you even though I'm fucking your bitch, I would never, never let her disrespect you. Don't let her disrespect you. Even though I'm fucking your bitch, I would never let her disrespect you. I would never let her disrespect you. Even though I'm fucking your bitch, I would never let her disrespect you. No. I've been fucking these hoes, and I already know they're going to put on a show as we go. And tell me about what the dude doing bad hey. But your pussy blew out and you're looking real sad hey. Every girl I'm fucking got a mental issue hey. Go in the bathroom and take the tissue hey. and Dry your eye and wipe your funky ass hey. Cause I don't wanna hear shit I'm just glad I nutted inside you somewhere I hey. hope that shit make your hair hey. grow the white way Get the fuck out my face Corey Holcomb, this is what I got to say. Yeah. Even, Even though I'm fucking yo, your bitch, I would I never would let her disrespect you. Even though I'm fucking your bitch, I would never let her disrespect you. Nope. I would never disrespect you. Even though I'm fucking your bitch, I would never let her disrespect you. I would never let her disrespect you. Even though I'm fucking your bitch, I would never let her disrespect you. See what a Darlene OG got to say. No, okay, okay, I'll, I'll give it my best. I may not be a great MC, but I can hang with the rest. I'm on this here show trying to give it a go, having fun with my silly flow. I know one thing, you can't call me no hoe. But if the price is right, hell, you can see my toe. They call me the, they call me the D-A-R to the lean. And unlike these guys who can seem to be mean, I'd rather choose to be nice. Wait, what? Oh, Woo. I can hear now, cause no precise. Let's go. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Even though I'm fucking your bitch, I would never let her disrespect you. Ah! Won't let her disrespect Even you. though I'm fucking your bitch, I should never let her disrespect you. Never let the bitch disrespect you. Even though we fucking your bitch, we would never let her disrespect you. Never let her disrespect you. Even though she fucking your bitch, she probably would tell her to disrespect you. Bitch, I've had enough. Life is too rough. I'ma call you bluff. Your back arms are floating in the bathtub and your bub meat is cuffed at the bottom of your ankles, bitch. You need to lose some weight, quick. You weigh about 2-6-D and you look like free with Lee. You big old broad when you get up and jog, it sounds like an audience applause, bitch. What the fuck is the wrong with the dog, bitch? Why is it barking at the back of your... I don't know what to say, so I'm gonna pass it back to Corey so he can do what he do. Hey. I want you to know you a funky asshole talking about your man. Let me say that again. Yeah. I want you to know you a funky asshole talking about your man. God! Laying in bed with me is disrespectful as you can be. Laying in bed with me. You're disrespectful as you can be. I wish your kids could see your legs in the air. <laughs> I wish your kids could see your legs in the air. No, hey. mommy, no. You ain't shit, and that's the truth. I'm fucking this bitch in a phone booth. Where I find a phone booth at? <laughs> I don't know, bitch. Give her a smack. Hey. 5150 in the motherfucking house, hey. you dig what I'm saying? <laughs> Detroit, New York, Memphis. I had a ball this past weekend mm. fucking with y'all, you dig what I'm saying? Hey, ah. 
I got this week off. That's right. D A R to the lean. You got that. Dyer Lansky. You got that. You caught that. You caught that, Dyer. You caught that. (laughs) So you dig what I'm saying? Corey Holcomb chilling this week. I ain't going nowhere. I'm chilling in LA, looking for some place to be, looking for something to do. I ain't on nothing. I'm chilling this week. Yeah, hell yeah. Dig what I'm saying? Next week, Halloween, we're going to freak it out with the costume. Can you get dressed for Halloween, Dyer? No. He ah, dress. that's hilarious. He's gonna dress like As a, a rapper. rapper. Oh, you gonna wear a oh. dress? Oh, 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 whoa. <laughs> that's it. I'm fucking with you. It's too much. He's like, no. It's too much. <laughs> Ooh, don't let him scuff him. Okay. Next week, we gonna have them shoes. Ain't nobody seen shoes. Okay. Come on, let's do it. I'm gonna put you to the test next week. Oh, okay. I, he said he, uh-uh. I like this type of challenge. Uh, you can bring up. them in the box, just don't wear them. Great uh-huh. facts. Talk to us. Tell us what's going on with you, bro. Oh man, so uh, Tampa Improv yeah. November first. Then next Thursday, uh, next Thursday November second. The next day, I'll be at the Mike Drop Comedy Club in Chandler, mm-hmm. Arizona. And then every Friday. I host like a music and stand-up show at Station 1640. Come get roasted. If you're a comedian or somebody, you want to get roasted for your birthday, just have a good, loose time. It's a comedy slow show slash music show at Station 1640 every Friday. So those are my next three shows. Please support. Also want to, uh, you know, say shout-out to uh, moms. Love you. Keep your head up. And uh, if I owe you all something, Get it from God. God, it from God, 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 God. There it is. Mm-hmm. What's up, D? What's what's happening? We're going to be able to get this shit done for the stove. Next week, we're going to have a Halloween-type shirt, I guess. We'll see. I had or an at idea. least fall. Fall anyway. Yeah, you, can wear it, you can wear it year-round, but it's yeah. going to be scary. He said I'm going to come as I see. You got a ponytail? You can do it? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, mine's way longer. Anyway. Big It'll beer. be fun. It'll what be fun forget? for Halloween. We got them dates up there, you dig? The last day, Northfield, Ohio, out there by Cleveland. MGM. MGM Casino. Do you do you have any, do you know what you're doing on um the 31st of December, like New Year's Eve? I don't know. What's oh, okay. Happening? Oh, no, no. I'm just checking because I I wanted to get some tickets to go see Cat Williams, but I'd, I'd rather see you this. Because it's that, that show, that concert's coming. I mean, concert. That Bill can get up with Cat, then. What up? Seventeen through the nineteen? Damn. They already know what's up. I seen somebody say something, but November Improv Corey will be coming to preach the word of our Lord out there at the comedy club. Oh, what Zemos. Day? What day? You know who Zemos is? Uh-uh. That's the Jesus on Planet of the Apes. You ever seen the first Planet of the oh, Apes? Of course, one of my Zemos. favorites. Yeah, Zemos. Zemos. Yeah, that, yeah. that was they G. That's what I call ugly bitches, Zemos. Zemos in this bitch. Oh, that's fucked up. Man. They said, Corey, you should be Rick it's James. That's Jesus. hilarious. Hey, y'all, y'all can say whatever y'all want to say. We've been starting on time ish. Mm-hmm. We're trying to get it together over here on the 5150 show. Hey, check it out. We're going to wrap it up because what time we start? Nine, right on time. Or eight, eight. We right. We didn't start right on time. D, you was in there shitting at eight o'clock. What? Did not. He's in the bathroom. I ran in here, but I went to the restroom only to change my shoes. That's what's up. 5150, thank y'all for staying up with us, That's man. right. Be safe. Happy uh, Halloween. We'll say happy Halloween then. Duh. We'll see y'all next week. That's right. Thursday. Halloween. Halloween. Uh, I got to carve out. my 5150 pumpkin this week. What you got to do? You going to carve I'm going to carve a pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin yeah, to set on the table. You can see a pumpkin? Very funny. Here we go. Maybe somebody will treat you some good eyes. Good eye. Uh-huh. Yeah. You got on glasses and you talk about my eye. Ah, uh, cause I know you can't really see. That's why you make fun of me. Tell me something to read. Make that smaller, Niall. It don't matter if you make oh. it smaller. I'll be able to see it, D. I'm not. You. Oh, stop. Take your glasses off and read, uh-huh. D. I are. You already know that I can't see without them. Don't be mad at me. It's a Craig can't read. Crazy. Craig bust a flow. Alley Cat Willie Corey 5150 Corey wearing a go kart chain. To freestyle to this, please. Anyway, I can read. That's 
You can't see if you take your glasses off. I know off. I can't. I already said that. Talk about my eyes. You blind, motherfucker. Uh-huh. You black. You black. Black. Oh, yeah. Let's black. give him a menu. Black. Black. Let's give him a menu. Good luck. Give me he a menu. Be, he's at age. He's got light in here. I can oh, see. Oh, wow. Yeah, you break out with his little light. <laughs> right. If it's dark and goddamn no, Applebee's. No. Would dudes take you on special nights? I don't care. You all could take me to Applebee's. I don't have no shame. Which I tried to make it smaller. I could see that too good. Uh uh. uh, uh that, that's the smallest it goes. He's scared. He's getting that. nervous. He's he's getting nervous. Can't see me coming. Coming. Hey, don't eat any unwrapped candy. They want to know where you got that hoodie from, Corey. Corey Junkyard Dog. Who, who makes that? What do you mean? Who's that? Who's that? D, you know how to look this shit up. Oh, this lady dope, ain't it? Hold on. Is the tag still on it, D? Oh, my God. Ain't no tag on it. It just says at white. 2008 underscore at white. Look it up. See what they charge you uh, for. Oh, Some we Asian already brand. Know. It's oversized. Yeah, we already know. 5150, we about this yeah. bitch, y'all. Check it out. We'll see y'all next God. week.